Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In Jeremiah chapter 20 and verse 9, we get insight into how Jeremiah kept going despite the difficult circumstances he was in. This is what it says. It says, But if I say I will not remember him or speak any more in his name, then in my heart it becomes like a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I am weary of holding it in, and I cannot prevail. The reason why Jeremiah just kept on uh, doing what he was doing, why he didn't give up, despite the fact that he knew the words that he was speaking wasn't having an impact on the people, even though he knew that the people were just conspiring against him and wanted him dead. The reason why he kept going was because he had an inward drive that drove him through those difficult circumstances. And that becomes very important for us to understand as we consider our own work for the Lord. You know, if all we're doing when we're doing the work of the Lord is is relying upon our circumstances to give us the proper motivation to keep doing the work of the Lord, we will burn out very, very quickly. Um, oftentimes, doing the work of the Lord doesn't really provide any uh, immediate gratification. Um, and, and we may not even see the fruits of our work in our lives when we're doing the work of the Lord. And if we're just relying on our circumstances, we probably won't find a whole lot to keep us going. And that's why it's very important for us to have a strong conviction within and to have a, a real sense of purpose when we're doing the Lord's work. To, to really have it impressed on our minds that what we are doing is important and what we are doing is worthwhile. And if we have that burning sensation within us, that, that feeling that Jeremiah had that, you know, uh, to to stop doing, uh, to stop prophesying, he felt would be more painful than to continue prophesying. When we have that burning desire within us that says, you know what, it would be more painful for me to stop doing the work of the Lord than it is for me to actually be doing the work of the Lord. That can keep us going. It can be like the engine that drives us through the, the difficult waters and can help us to prevail over the harsh and circumstances that we find ourselves in. And we we can acquire this inward conviction and this inward drive by having our priorities uh, in line, knowing what is truly important in life, by being in God's Word that will help us to uh, know what our priorities ought to be, but also inform us on what really should be driving us in life. And also by staying close to the Lord. The more and more we draw close to the Lord uh, and we draw close to Him and, and seek what He desires, the more and more our passion will arise within and help us to move forward. And so hopefully Jeremiah chapter 20 and verse 9 will help us to know how it is that we can stay the course whenever we're doing the work of the Lord. And it doesn't come from our circumstances necessarily, but it comes from that inward sense of, of duty, that inward sense of conviction, that inward sense of purpose, and that uh, deep calling that the Lord gives us deep within our hearts. And that's what will get us through the hard times. That's what will get us through the difficulties and help us to see, uh, to want to see the other side and want to keep going. So hopefully our reading today will help us to have that type of mindset and to help us to keep going as we do the work of the Lord. And with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.